Hi guys, I hope you're all sitting comfortably because I've got another home haul for you. And this one is pretty huge. Um, it's not going to be in any order, it's just going to be in the order that I grab the things off the floor because I've literally got three bagfuls of things on the floor to show you. Um, it's mainly candles, I've got to say it's mainly candles, but there are lots of other things as well. Um, lighting and candles seem to be the main things, but yeah, I'm going to get started. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the Autumn Hamper from Yankee Candles. In my last home haul video, I showed you the hamper of Yankee Candles that I ordered. And I said I got it on auto delivery. Well, this is the second instalment. And this is what it comes in, sort of leaf design um, fabric truck. And it's got a cute little tassel charm on. And the fragrances I got this time round are... Let's take the top out. Cranberry Pear, Honey Clementine, Ebony and Oak, Rhubarb Crumble, Sweet Apple and Autumn Nights. So they're all in the votive sizes that last 15 hours. So you get 12 votives. Um, my favourite so far has to be, um, just based on initial sniff, is Cranberry Pear, without a doubt. That's my amazing. Um, and in the bottom of the layer, you get two of the Bucket Glass votives. And you get two packs of tea lights. One is Autumn Nights and one is Honey Clementine. Um, probably my least favourite based on initial scent is Autumn Nights. It smells like a really expensive aftershave. So it's not something I would necessarily burn in the house. But we'll see. I'll give it a go. And if not, if I don't like it, then I may be giving the tea lights away in a future giveaway. So we'll see about that. But that's what I've got. Great value, as I say the last time. I'm now looking forward to my Christmas instalment. But um, yeah, I mean, there's got lots of fruity fragrances in. I like my fruity ones. So I'm really looking forward to giving them a proper go. And then I can make my mind up. I am going to be rushing through this slightly because I do have so much to show you. Next up, more actually no, I'm going to stick with Yankee Candles first and I got another reed diffuser for my bedroom um, and one of my favourite Yankee fragrances is Lemon Lavender so I got a reed diffuser, for those of you who don't know what these are basically you get a sort of bottle full of oil, um, scented oil and then you get these sort of little wooden or paper diffuser sticks which you stick in and what they gradually in the bottle and what they gradually do is absorb the fragrance and distribute the fragrance. Um, it's kind of a posh air freshener. Um, but this is my favourite and this is the new design with actually little mini Yankee jars. You can just see the oil in there. Um, and I love these. They easily last about eight weeks, six to eight weeks. I can get out of them and they're really nice because you're not having to burn a candle but you're just getting the fragrance all the time. Um, I especially love these at Christmas but I get some Christmas ones. I usually get them from Next and they're really good but I'm looking forward to using that again but I think I might just leave it till I've used my Christmas, start my Christmas ones early. <sighs> Next up. Ugh, ugh. Delves into bag on the floor for more things. Right, next up, um, I did say I was going to try and try some more different candle brands and I recently bought this one which is from Flamingo Candles. I got my mum a lovely Palmer Violet one for her birthday which smells gorgeous from Flamingo. Um, it does smell exactly like the sweets, Palmer Violet. And this is Mango and Dragon Fruit. And it smells amazing. I wish you had smell of YouTube, but we don't. But it's so good. It is really, really nice. And I love the sort of acrylic sparkly flamingos on the front. So that's really good. I'm looking forward to burning that because that smells so good. Um, so that was that. And then at the other end of the scale, I got this one from Pound World, um, which is... Krispy Kreme. They've got a range of Krispy Kreme candles. Now they're the same packets as the one, the Skittles and the M&Ms and various other brands. Um, they're the same ones as those. So I think they even did Betty Crocker ones. Um, but this is powdered blueberry. And that's what it looks like. And that again smells so good. It does literally smell like blueberry jam or something. It's so good. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. They're generally not that amazing once you burn them. You get a little bit of fragrance, but they're not major throw. But I, I liked it anyway. You know, it smelled nice. Um, next up was some candles I got from Next. Now, Next are starting to get the Christmassy things in, which I love. I love Next Christmassy things. Um, and I got this, um, which basically, they've, been, they've got the same, like, 
traditional festive fragrances like festive spice which i absolutely love but they've also got some new ones out this year and this is a gift set i think you get six and it was 12 pounds for six and that's what it looks like shaped in a christmas tree i think this would make a lovely gift to anyone who likes candles and what you get is these beautiful sort of glass votives which you can reuse gingerbread Roasted chestnut, which again smells a little bit aftershavey. I wasn't expecting that from roasted chestnut. So I'm actually, I've got a bigger one of those, but I'm actually going to be sending it back because I don't like that as much as I thought I would. So, yeah. That. Then you've got Under the Mistletoe, which is like a sort of florally green fragrance. And you've got Figgy Pudding which smells very fruity and you've got this one which is cream liqueur so it's got a little bit of a coffee shop it smells a bit like Starbucks and then you've got my favorite this one is clearly my favorite and I've already ordered the full size version because all of these come in full sizes so you can also order a larger size of the candle that you like the most which is what I've done and it is mulled wine Yankee Candles did a mulled wine Christmas fragrance a while ago and it was the nicest thing ever and I absolutely loved it. I think I've got about that much of it left out of a large jar but this smells pretty damn close so I'm definitely going to be getting the larger size of that one and I might get my mum the larger size of the gingerbread as well but I think that makes a great gift in its own. It's lovely packaged and if you know anybody who likes scent candles especially Christmassy fragrances I might like that. Right where am I going now? Where am I going now? Where am I going? Right, I'm going to go here. Okay. Right. It came out the box. What it is, it's light up letters, your name up in lights. And it is a letter L. I'm sorry, I haven't got any batteries in this yet. But um, yeah, I've already got a couple of light up L's and standy up L's. But, you know. <laughs> um, So I'm going to have a bit of an L wall going on in my office. So i got another L. Um, and this was from Studio Cards and Gifts. They do great Christmas catalogues. I buy a lot of stuff from them usually for like quirky prezzies and things. And that was from there. Um, I think the Brilliant Gift Shop, which is part of Simply Be, also does these same ones as well, I think. And of course, they're just battery operated and you can hang them up on the wall. Next, I also got this from Studio. And these are everywhere at the minute. And it is a cinematic light box. Um, this is the A4 size and this one came with 71 letter tiles. Unfortunately, it only came with one of each of like things. So I can't make my blog name or my Twitter or anything. So I've actually been on, to e on eBay and I've actually bought some more letters for it. I bought another packet of letters, which was about £2.95 for a spare packet of letters. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I can use my blog, make my blog name at least. So that's that. So yeah, I'll get my blog name up on that and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, then also from Studio, I bought a few things from Studio actually. I got this duvet set. I don't need any more bedding. I really don't need any more bedding, but I love this. Can't really see it that well, but I'll turn it over. And it's like a sort of lilac-y grey with bright flowers all over, which I loved. My room's lilac anyway, so... Um, I always go for a nice line of bedding. I'm going to try and get that on this week so we can see what that looks like properly. What else? This came from Studio as well. And it is a rubber doorstop, basically. It's got a little red flower on it and you just wedge it under the door to keep your door shut. Um, I, sometimes I, like, I don't mind the cats coming into my room when I'm asleep, but sometimes they do. I don't want them in. And they, they have a annoying way of opening the door. So I'm hoping if I use this to wedge it shut, they won't be able to open it anymore, but that's what that looks like. And that's very cute. Is that all in that bag? Yeah, that's all in this bag. Ah, next up, this one. How fab is this carry bag? It's got like monsters on it and it's got cacti on it. Uh, oop, it's from Tiger. Um, I'm a bit obsessed with Tiger now. Tiger, uh, Tiger have got a store in Newcastle and every time I've got to get my brows waxed, I can't resist having a look in. Right. 
Next, first thing though is from H&M and if you follow any of my home hauls, even my Primark hauls, you'll know that I have a bit of a thing for pineapples. I like my pineapples. So I got this from H&M which I thought was really lovely. It's like a little trinket jar and it's clear glass and it's got a sort of a gold stalk on the top which is glass as well. So I really like that. I think that was about $7.99. But um, H&M have got loads of pineapple things in the home way if you like pineapples. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Next up, something Christmas related. A few, I've got a few Christmas related things in this actually. How cute is he? Um, basically it's a biscuit mug. So you put your tea in the top and underneath you put your biscuits so you can carry your biscuits and your tea at once and this was from Poundland of all places but I thought it was really cute nice happy Santa so that was from Poundland and this <laughs> this was from Poundland as well and it's just basically a tea light holder they've done them over the past few years and I think I've got the snowman the Christmas tree where I didn't have a Santa so I've got another Santa that's what he looks like and obviously you put your tea lights in there you can either use a real one or you can use flameless depending on where you put it so I thought he was really cute and I also got these were from Poundland as well and they are battery operated lights and they actually shape like let's see if I can get one off here I like little light bulbs. I think they're really, really cute. I have no idea where I'm going to put them, but um, I love battery strand lights and I've got load them all over the place. Poundland actually are getting some really good ones in. They were just putting that Christmas stuff out when I was in the other day and they've got stars and all sorts of things. So they've actually got some nice ones this year, but um, I just thought they were really cute, the little bulbs. Yep, I thought they were really cute and they were obviously a pound. Although I've seen that about Poundland in a bit, they're getting more stuff that's not a pound. So it is quite, I think it's fair to say that all of these things were a pound. Finally, the bits from Tiger. And first of all, I got this. Now this was a bit of a silly bit thing because I've got, really got no idea why I got it, but I did. And it is a DIY Papier Blumster. It's a DIY paper flowers kit. So what you get it's all these little sheets of paper flowers to push out and you can actually make like it they've done on there and on the front three dimensional paper flowers i don't know why i got that i do like my craft and my card making but um but i really don't know why i got that and you get some little sticky things in as well i think that was about two pound two pound fifty or something like that but um yeah it just looked fun it just looked fun i like i love my daisies and my flowers but that was cool they've got some really nice craft stuff in there actually so if you're into your crafting or anything like that they've got some really quite cute quirky things i just love the shop i think it's crazy but i think i love it and i also got this um rubber eraser as my dad called them my dad would never call them rubbers and he would never call a ruler a ruler it was a rule there you go but anyway it's a rubber and it is basically a cactus will I use it as a rubber probably not but I did think it was really cute so I think I'll just display it as an ornament or something it was quite cute I don't know why I quite like cactuses I've got some new cactuses for my bedroom my office room and they're really nice they're grown already so I must be doing something right and finally this came from tiger as well and it is a little stationary well it's a daisy that's the first thing it's a daisy and when you open it up it's got all sorts of cute little stationary things and so we've got a mini highlighter the cutest pair of mini safety scissors ever a teensy weensy tape dispenser um sort of mini post-it notes page marker post-it notes cute tiny little stapler and some tiny little staples to go with it i think this was only a couple of pounds if that and i just thought it was really cute um i like things in miniature generally and miniature stationery i just thought hell why not 
So that was it. Um, I've actually steam rushed through that way quicker than I intended to, but it's all done anyway. Um, I've got a blog post to accompany this haul, which you can find below. Um, it'll have more details on the thing. I'm going to try and photograph the duvet set on the bed because I think that'll look much better on the bed. You'll be able to see it better. And I'll have some photos of my light box and things lit up. And maybe I'll stick some photos of it in when I've got it all organised. So that was that. If you've got anything to say on this haul, any comments, um, if you can recommend anything you think I might like, then let me know. Candle brands again, I'm looking for candle recommendations. What is that noise? Children. Children and dogs. Um, so yeah, anything you might like, candle-wise, give us a, um, let us know your recommendations. Um, any comments? I love reading what you've got to say. I was having some trouble approving comments. Um, I don't really know what that's in, that's going on with that. I've gone on to Google about that. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so yeah, don't forget to comment, thumbs up, please, and subscribe. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.